Everyone knows by now that Pokemon Go has taken over the world. It's also no secret that many players are using exploits and hacks to gain unaccessible Pokemon such as region exclusives. Unfortunately, I am now one of those people using the method of teleporting to other countries to grab a Taurus, Kangaskhan and Farfetch'd. However, so far I've been unsuccessful in, in grabbing that damn bird. So what is this video about? I believe I have found an alternate way of avoiding getting those instant soft bands. Now I assume you know the main way of doing this by basically sniping a Pokemon and teleporting home before trying to capture it. But I found a way of not only capturing it, but also capturing as many Pokemon and items from Pokestops as you want without a soft ban. And now my friends, I will teach you the way. Firstly, you will need a spare Gmail account. If you've got one, great. If not, it only takes a few seconds just to get one. Pause this video now to do that if needed. If not, let's continue. Oh, and by the way, if you are watching this video, I assume you already have the hacked Pokemon Go with teleport function. If not, I will put a link in the description for you to do so. Anyway, back on topic. You need to sign in into your uh, backup account before you load your game. While being on your home startup, wait for all the Pokestops and Pokemon around to load fully. Once you have, teleport to wherever you want. And once there, again wait for everything to load fully. You may need to walk around a bit to uh, get the nearby Pokemon to spawn. Once everything is set, sign out of your backup account and into your main. The system will register you as being there correctly as it will have no record of a teleport from that account and that you have naturally spawned there. Test the Pokestop. If it spits things out, you're good to go. Explore, capture Pokemon, get items, the world is your cloister. <laughs> Once you are finished, simply sign back into your previous account and teleport home. Then sign out. Completely close the game down and that will end your session. So completely get it off the screen and double click your home button, slide it away so it's gone. And if you do that, you shouldn't trigger any issues. If something however does happen when you log back into your main account, simply use the poker stop trick until it's sorted, but you shouldn't really have an issue. Anyway, hope this helped, hopefully it made sense. Sorry I don't have any video capturing software on my phone, so I just use screen caps and pictures and whatnot. Anyway, thanks for watching, and keep catching!